world. So with EFT, what they found is there is no diet or exercise regime being followed. And after four weeks of EFT, they found study subjects lost five kgs on average, and the five kgs stayed off. And the five kgs stayed off two years later, by the way. And they haven't found, they compared it to cognitive behavioral therapy. And they found whilst cognitive behavioral therapy helped to lose weight, but it didn't give lasting results two years later. There was a study done in Australia by this researcher known as Pete Stapleton, where she put volunteers into MRI machines and she looked at their brain to work out what's the reason people are losing weight with EFT. And what she did is each participant had this camera object above their eyes and flashing up in that camera object was one of these craving substances one by one, a, a baguette, pizza, ice cream sundae, burger and beer, ice cream and cookies, because these are the most popular craving substances around the world, by the way. And so they flashed up in front of them and then they would monitor the brain activity. And what they found in the brain activities before the subject or person received EFT, there were these orange parts of the brain that lit up and it's known as the amygdala. And the, if the amygdala is stimulated, it promotes you to eat craving substances. It's the reason why sometimes you're like, I don't wanna have chocolate, but I can't help it. The reason that happens is the amygdala is stressed, cortisol is elevated in the body and goes, eat, 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 and it forces you to eat that substance. When those same study participants receive EFT, after four weeks of EFT, these parts of the brain are no longer lit up. 